Wasn't that a hoot? All right, so the centrifugal effect and artificial gravity. You've heard probably the term centrifugal force, not centripetal force, centrifugal force. Uh, it's actually the effect of inertia. It, there is no such thing as centrifugal force. This effect produces artificial gravity in space. And that's what we're going to look at here. Misconception says, when I turn my car, I feel a force that pulls me to the outside of the circle. This is called the centrifugal force, and objects in the circle feel a force away from the center of the circle. Hold it! Mr. Wright says there is no centrifugal force because centrifugal force doesn't obey Newton's laws, as you saw in the video. Centrif centrifugal effect is actually just the effect of inertia. So when you are in your friend's car and they make a quick left-hand turn and you're in the passenger seat and you hit your head, there is nothing pushing you to hit your head. Instead, the car is actually turning without you. Your head, because of its inertia, wants to stay still, so the window comes to you and it hits you. Here's the effect. Remember how inertia works. Inertia is an object's resistance to change motion. Suppose you have a heavy ball that's red and a light green ball that is in a car. Both balls can move around in the car without any frictional effects. In the following animations, we're going to see the car's motion change both from the Earth's reference frame and the reference frame of the car itself. Now, suppose the car speeds up from rest. The animation below shows the car speeding up both from the Earth frame of reference and the car frame of reference. Note that a person inside the car sees the balls appear to go backwards. What force is causing this to happen? There is no force that causes the balls to accelerate backwards. It's the balls actually standing still until the back of the car exerts a rightward force on them because of their inertia, the resistance to change in motion. The balls want to stay right where they are on Earth, as you see here. But they eventually... Uh, get dragged along as the back of the car reaches. So inertia is not a force. It's just an effect that, has, that an accelerating person sees. If you're on a bus and you drop a pencil, that pencil apparently is going to go straight down. But if you were on the side of the road and you saw this event, you dropped the pencil on the bus, apparently that pencil is going to go backwards, assuming the bus moving forward. Because both balls have different masses, but the same acceleration, they hit the front of the car at the same time. There's no force acting. Force would cause a heavier mass to have less acceleration. Right? There's also no agent of the inertia force. What physical, tangible object exerts the rightward force on the balls? Nothing. Suppose the car slows down to rest, and both spheres are initially moving with the car. Those spheres want to continue moving with the car, so they're going to appear to go to the front. Meanwhile, in the Earth's frame of reference, it's just not happening because you're able to see them uh, stay right where they are. Sorry, I went backwards. This time, a person in the car sees the balls accelerate forward. What force causes this to happen? There is no force because the balls uh, that causes the balls to accelerate backwards. Actually, the balls are moving forward with a constant speed until the front of the car exerts a leftward force on them. I feel like my directions are messed up on here. So inertia is not a force. The object, there is no object pushing or pulling the balls uh, left, right, forward, back. From the frame of reference of a person in the car, the balls experienced a force, which is actually the effect of inertia, that always pointed opposite the direction of the acceleration. When acceleration was forward, the balls were forced backwards. When the acceleration was backward, the balls were forced forward. Centrifugal effect also has a manifestation of inertia. Watch the following animation. Hmm, there we go. Until the balls strike the right side of the car, they are trying to make a straight line path with a constant speed, obeying Newton's first law like inertia requires them to. From the car's frame of reference, both balls accelerate to the right at the same rate. Two different masses accelerating at the same rate cannot be due to a force. 
equations. Remember, F equals mass times acceleration. If they're accelerating at the same rate, then the mass must be uh, the same. So the centrifugal force, the centrifugal effect, is just the effect of inertia. Here's the same animation, but with the right side of the car removed. There they go. Note the balls don't get forced away from the center of the circle. Instead, they continue tangent to the circle, moving in a straight line with a constant speed.